This is CPD, ladies and gentlemen. This is what the fuck they do to Native American people. They always flashing their fucking lights in people's window when motherfuckers got to go to sleep and go to work in the motherfucking morning. You see what I mean? They only do that. They don't do this shit to white people. They do this shit to black and indigenous people all the fucking time. Y'all need to get rid of them. Six million, six fucking billion dollars in fucking policing and fucking half a million dollars per person in the fucking jail system, in the prison system. And then not to mention the school, the, the school, the jail pipeline. And see, this is why we would fucking record shit. All the fucking time. All the time. Because they do this shit to black and indigenous people. Because why? The motherfucking, they're slave patrol. That's the only reason why they're in black and indigenous neighborhoods. They're not here to serve and protect black and indigenous people. They're here to fucking murder us in cold blood. And then they shine their fucking lights in people's bathroom windows to fucking look at them and shit. When Pornhub is free. To fucking harass people. They've been doing this for about a good two hours now. Flashing their flashlights in our windows. Now go ahead now. Y'all was flashing the lights in the windows. Because I'm recording. They don't want to flash their lights anymore. They fail to fucking realize people like me know our fucking civil rights. And our fucking constitutional rights. We know every fucking thing. And this is why everybody has to be a person of the media. Because this shit's going all over fucking everything. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, Reddit. Then they come in our fucking neighborhoods posting up motherfucking Ku Klux Klan posters and shit like we're fucking stupid. Like we don't know who the fuck it is posting up them posters. You don't like black and indigenous people? I mean, you can always get back on the fucking Mayflower and go back to Europe. Your people are here illegally any fucking way. These motherfuckers are the same motherfuckers that are killing people and getting away with this shit. Raping women and getting away with it. The only reason why Derek Chauvin is in fucking prison right now is because the public went out and they showed up. These are gangs. Gangs, straight up terrorist organization gangs. They should be in Guantanamo with the fucking rest of the terrorists.
and I'm going to keep fucking filming. And this is why we teach our children not to trust the trust these people. Cause they running around to the south side shooting up shit. All, all tonight they've been out here shooting up some shit. They've been out here gang banging harder than the fucking gangs around. I haven't seen a gang member since motherfucking 1990. These are the motherfucking gangs running around. That little flare is them. That's their little flashlight. They been fucking flashing my fucking window for the longest fucking time. Motherfuckers got shit to do. People actually are fucking educated enough to fucking work. And this is exactly why I don't trust white folks, especially white people. Because they do this fucking retarded nonsense like their mom was snoring coke when they were pregnant. I mean, only a crack baby does that. Oh, look at me, baby Huey and shit, you know what I mean? It really doesn't take a fucking genius or a rocket scientist or a mathematician. You don't even have to know what 2 plus 2 is to be a police officer. You, you can barely read and still get in. If you got the same ideologies as, as the Ku Klux Klan, they'll be ha more than happy to let you in. Neo-Nazis, alt-right, extreme right-wing motherfuckers, conservatives. They're all the fucking same. They have yet to prove anybody of color wrong. Not to mention, these are the same people that shot up a whole bunch of motherfucking Black Panthers in their sleep back in the 60s and 70s. After the Black Panther Party opened up WIC programs and free school lunches for their broke, poor ass kids. Because, you know, these police don't get paid shit. They're poor as shit. Motherfuckers, the whole fucking white race, fucking um, 40 fucking percent. As of 2019, 40% of the European Americans in this country, in the U.S. alone are on welfare. But yet, they're always blaming black people and brown people for their problems. What is that saying they always say to us? Pick yourself by, up by your bootstraps. Go get a job. Work three jobs. Maybe if you were educated, you would have a better fucking life. Isn't that what they're always telling us? And this is all going all over fucking social media. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. Any place I could upload a video, this is going. But you see how they stopped as soon as my educated ass? Started recording, and that little speck of light right there is them. But they're so quick. These Trump supporters are so quick to be like, go back to where you came from. Why don't you go back to where you came from? 
Get back on your ni your Nina, your Maria, and your fucking pizza, your pizza, pizza, whatever the fuck. Go back to Europe. We don't want you here. <laughs> My people definitely are tired of you fuckers. Oh, ju but January 6th, January 6th, oh, 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 let's not talk about that. A whole bunch of fucking white people stormed the Capitol. And where were all these police at? Storming the Capitol too. Mm. Terrorism at its finest. Exactly. You hear that? They're leaving. They're leaving. But I know somebody's probably going to harass me. As they always do. I've always been harassed. Ever, ever since I fucking openly told everybody that I'm indigenous. And that my ancestry not only comes from north of the border of Turtle Island. But we also come from Mexico. They harass me. They follow me around. I've even been harassed for supporting Black Lives Matter. I've been harassed for supporting Land Back. Because it ain't for sale. Your people came over here and brought y'all nasty asses over here and y'all still don't shower every fucking day. Y'all still don't take a bath every day. Y'all wash your ass when you're dirty. When you when you see when you rub your skin and you see the dirt. And then you're so fucking proud that you gave my people dirty ass blankets with smallpox. Who does that? Who is proud to be nasty? Who is proud to have ancestors who were gross and fucking disgusting? Being part white, I'm not even proud of that. I apologize for my white half on behalf of my family, the white side of my family. That's who I apologize. I take accountability for the fucked up shit those people did. They even killed their own fucking people by hanging many of my fucking ancestors telling them they were witches because they washed their ass every day. And they used plant medicine from the indigenous people around the area. And because some of them were gay... And lesbian, they were burned at the stake for being witches. And if you if you bore a child that had a learning disability, you and that child would be burned at the stake. So on behalf of Sarah Good, may your God give you blood to eat. That's what my ancestor told the judge who told her she was a witch and she was hung. And a few fucking days later, he fucking killed over and died. He caught, he caught up so much blood that he died. I think he caught tuberculosis. Not only that, my and my ancestors on my mom's side, both indigenous and African, are always with me. So no matter what the fuck you try to do to me or do to me, my ancestors, the 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 spirits of my ancestors roam this earth and they're looking for a fight. So whatever you wish upon me gets done to you worse. 
I remember my ex-boyfriend used to punch me in my face every fucking day. And where is he now? Nobody knows where he is. I don't even know where he is. I told my friend, I said, in my spirit, I feel he is no longer with us in this plane. I feel like he caught crossed somebody and the karma that he was building up around him, that little circle of karma that was building up around him finally caught him. And whoever he tried to double cross or whoever he tried to abuse had had enough and like he's he's like I, I don't I me personally I don't think he's here in this life anymore. I don't have to do anything. Your karma will come to you. And there's karma. I've seen instantaneous karma. I remember when I went to go get my driver's license redone. This woman flipped me off. And she got caught at the red light. Because I was going 30 in a 30. And she was angry. And she got caught at the light. I walk with them spirits every day. There's this fat ass white man at the movie theater when I went to go take my child to see a movie. And he was talking shit about black people. And about people, oh, people don't want to work. And I and I called him a fat ass and maybe he should stop eating so much. And then he walked up to me like he was about to put his hands on me. And then I looked at him and he just, it, it, he looked like he saw a ghost. And he quickly scrambled away. Because he saw me and he saw my ancestors. He saw a ghost. I walk with them spirits. I walk with all my ancestors. I know my ancestors are protecting me. I am fully protected. And this is also a reason, going a little off topic about that. This is also a reason why Mother Earth is flooding white people out. Because people people are like taking and taking and taking from her. It's like my Pueblo ancestors say. When Mother Earth comes and takes her land back because of all the crazy stuff these people came and did to this this land, we are not to intervene. And I wholeheartedly believe that. I keep it traditional as possible. As possible. I'm even taking up some things that of my ancestors. And I've got I've gotten like it, it was like my ancestors were speaking through these people, and they were like, if that's what you feel you're drawn to into doing learn about it learn about it read about it learn about the different things to help with different things to alleviate different things these are my ancestors speaking through these people and giving me the okay to be traditional to be indigenous to be proud that my family also comes from Mexico. Because growing up, I didn't know where I fit in. 
But now that I'm older and in the position that I'm in now, I know where I fit. I know who I am. And nobody's going to fucking stop that. I educate my child and I also educate my old ass dad. <laughs> Love him to death. But sometimes he can be a little aggy. I know these crackers are here. My mama fucking went for it. Hmm. Yeah, they up in my shit. I'm gonna try to see this. For what reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? For what? See? That's them. Like that's supposed to intimidate me. Guess what I'm about to do, sis. Guess what I'm about to do.
And he's still out here. They been over here shooting up people. Just so y'all know. And there ain't nobody even in their car. They were over here earlier today. This morning, they shot somebody. And now they was over here again shooting up some shit. Cause they was all running around over here. See what I mean? And they stop. They turn it off. They sit there, they blow their lights, and then they turn them off. Like that shit's gonna fucking intimidate somebody. And then now they put them back on. Oh, yep, yeah, blonde bitch. The blonde chick, huh? There you go. Yeah. It's focusing on not focusing on the outside, it's focusing on the inside. Shit. Fucking see what I mean? Like that's gonna fucking scare somebody. What's the reason? I bet you if I put the fucking hold on.
They don't even have to fucking have them lights on. So I don't understand why people, they be doing that shit. Like, I know they be trying to fucking intimidate people. Reason, printer. What was the reason? Sure off, you stupid fucking cunt.
That's why it's the writing tools. Well, ladies and germs, they're gone. They've been gone for like, what, five minutes, I guess? But, gladly. Oh, finally. Love you guys. Have a good day. Bye.